All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I have a bunch of U-Green equipment here. I have two U-Green 100 watt solar panels and I have the U-Green Power Roam 600 power station. Now, my question is, does it really make that big of a difference if your panels have stands or if you just lay them flat on the grass? Now, I'm gonna take this at two separate times during the day. Right now, which is 11.30, in the morning which it's perfectly blue skies the sun is almost at its peak so i would think that there wouldn't be much of a big difference but then i'm going to do it again maybe like at four so five hours later and we'll see what the difference is then now with the one with the stands i will be adjusting it accordingly so i will be adjusting it so it's at the perfect angle using the stands while the one laying flat is just going to be laying flat all right, and in full disclosure, this power room is actually charging another power station. So that way I don't have any issues with there getting too much power in here and then it's kind of like slows it down. So that way I just wanted to make sure there was plenty of power leaving this power station while we did this test. All right, let's go ahead and put the app on the screen so you can see exactly what's going on. And you can see that the DC output is 95 watts coming out of the USB-C port on this power station. So first, let's go ahead and plug in the, uh, the panel that's laying flat. Now I remind you that these panels are identical. And they've both been sitting out here, they're both the same temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now, they both use XT60 connections. All right, it's plugged in. And that panel that's laying flat is now giving us 70 watts. So 70 watts out of a 100 watt panel laying flat, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and unplug the panel that's just laying flat and let's plug in the panel that is actually utilizing its legs. All right, plugging in panel with legs. Remember that one was 70 watts. All right, and the one with legs, we are getting between, well, we're getting right around 79, 78 watts, 77. So we're, I mean, we're getting an 8% increase just by having this thing on legs pointed directly at the sun. Now, what's nice about these panels is they actually have uh, built-in little gauges so you can tell exactly where to point the panel. That's a, that's a nice little bonus that these panels have. Okay, well, uh, I, I don't know if I'm surprised by the results. I didn't expect that one to get more, but um, and since it being high noon, I wasn't sure how much more we we're going to get. But let's wait a few hours and we'll see what happens when the sun's a little bit lower in the sky. All right, everyone. Well, it is now 4.30 p.m. So it's been about, what, five hours and uh, we got a little bit of sun here. So I'm going to go ahead and test these and see what we have a difference between the panel with the stands and the panel that is just laying flat. So let's go ahead and check it out. First, we're going to do the panel. That's just laying flat. All right, I'll put, the, uh, I'll put the app up on the screen. And it looks like we're still getting between, we're getting about between 53 and 55 watts, which is pretty good for the panel that's just laying flat. So now let's check out the panel that is on the legs. All right, and the panel with the built-in stand, which is, again, using the little uh, meter there, the little uh, display is angled perfectly. And check it out between 80, between, it's, it's right around 80 watts, between 79 and 81. And actually it's going down. It's because the sun, I think, is starting to go behind a cloud. Yep. And as you can see, the sun is going behind a cloud, so we are dropping to nothing. But I did see, I saw 80 watts right there. That is a significant difference. I mean, you're talking an increase of 25 watts just from one 100 watt panel. That's 25% that's of the total output of the panel just because it's on legs opposed to uh, laying flat in the grass. All right, the sun's starting to come back out now. Let's uh, look at this app again. All right, look at that. We are back at full sun. And again, it's 80 watts. 80 watts for a panel that's angled 
and let's switch back over to the flat panel and it is going to give us yep again 54 between 53 and 55 watts something like that so yeah you're looking at 25 25 watts of difference between these two panels that are identical again i'll have a link to all this stuff in my description um, if you have any questions about how i did this test uh, please leave it in the comments thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day bye bye